Owls in the Family One morning, my grandfather and I found a baby spotted owlet on the ground by the veranda. After a meal of raw meat and water, it settled down for the day under my bed. The following day, we found a second baby owlet in the same place. We realized that where the rainwater pipe emerged through the roof, there was a nest. We took the second young owl to join the first and fed them both. When I went to bed, they were on the window ledge. Their mother found them there. In the morning, I found that she had left a mouse with its tail tucked through the mosquito net. Ten days later, Grandfather and I took them into the garden to release them. I had placed one on a branch of the mango tree when I received a heavy blow on my head. The mother owl then swooped down on Grandfather, but he ducked out of his way. Quickly, I placed the second owl under the mango tree. Then, from a safe distance, we watched the mother fly down and lead her young ones into the long grass at the edge of the garden. We thought she would take her family away from our strange household, but next morning I found the two owlets perched on the hat stand in the veranda. I ran to tell Grandfather, and when we came back, we found the mother sitting on the bird bath a few meters away. She was evidently feeling sorry for her behavior the previous day, because she greeted us with a soft whoo-whoo. So the two owlets became regular members of our household and were among the few pets that Grandmother took a liking to. They loved to sit and splash in a shallow dish provided by Grandmother. They enjoyed it even more if cold water was poured over them from a jug at the same time. They would get thoroughly wet, jump out and perch on a towel rack, shake themselves, and then return for a second splash and sometimes a third. During the day, they dozed on the hat stand. After dark, they had the freedom of the house, and their nightly occupation was catching beetles, the kitchen quarters being a happy hunting ground.